Hey there, Wastelanders, and welcome back to War Games News Radio. My name's Ryan, and no, this was not a clickbait headline. We have some seriously huge breaking Fallout TV show and Wasteland Warfare news to bring you folks today, and it all comes from this very spicy leak over at Amazon and our friends at Modiphius. Now, for those who may not know or are just here for the TV show news, Modiphius is a company based in the UK that makes board games, miniature games, tabletop games, all kinds of nerdy goodness, and they just so happen to have the license for Fallout miniatures. And that brings us back to this beautiful image, which has just started popping up online for a box of miniatures tied directly to the Fallout Amazon TV show, which is set to premiere in April 2024. According to multiple online retailers, including Amazon themselves, this box is called Fallout Miniatures LA Tales and features the four protagonists of the upcoming Fallout Amazon TV show, Lucy, the Ghoul, Maximus, and Dogme, uh, I mean, uh, CX404. Now this is a huge deal because it's the first hard and fast proof we have that the Fallout TV show will be coming to the tabletop in some form. Now I'd heard rumors of something like this coming down the line as the Fallout TV show was getting closer to the premiere date, but this reveal stopped me dead in my tracks because I honestly wasn't expecting it to come out this soon. And a big thank you to friends of the channel, the Mass DM and Oliver Riddell for helping track down these images and the information on what's in the box. So just like Brad Pitt, you may now be asking yourself, What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, as mentioned, there are going to be four miniatures in this box, all at 32 millimeter scale, which is compatible with both Fallout Wasteland Warfare and Fallout Factions, and they're printed in resin and will have scenic bases. The images of the minis themselves aren't all that great, but we can see Maximus here in a set of T60 power armor. CX404 has what looks like that signature severed hand from the trailer in their mouth. The ghoul is packing his shotgun revolver -y looking custom handgun, and then we've got the girl from Vault 33, Lucy. And this is what's most interesting for me about this miniatures is actually what's going on with Lucy. It looks to me like Lucy's carrying something in her left hand. It appears to be large and kind of cylindrical shaped maybe, but it looks big. And I'm talking like geck big or bigger. So maybe this is the MacGuffin that she's been sent out to, into the wasteland to find from Vault 33, or maybe it's just a Vault Tech lunchbox and I'm reading way too much into this. Just a quick tangent on that, if I may, because I've got a really weird feeling that whatever is going on in Vault 33 has to do with ice cream. And yes, I know that sounds insane, but stick with me for a second. It all comes from this one image in the Follow TV show trailer that really stuck with me and shows a Mr. Handy in front of a sign for like Vault Tech ice cream. If you know anything about Vault Tech, then whatever this ice cream is probably has nothing to do with either ice or cream. So yeah, maybe it's just me, but I, I think this is gonna factor in somehow. Now back to the miniatures, it's worth noting that the packaging on this box is very different from anything we've ever seen from Modiphius in their Fallout lines. It's completely devoid of any Wasteland Warfare or Fallout Factions branding, which kind of had me worried for a moment that this would just be like a showpiece and not be tied into the actual games at all. But if you look very, very closely at the back of the box, there's a block of text which is very blurry, but appears to read that these models will be compatible with Fallout Wasteland Warfare. At the very least, these miniatures are all the same size and scale as we have in Fallout Wasteland Warfare and Fallout Factions, so if by some fluke Modiphius don't see the opportunity in releasing rules and unit cards for the Fallout TV show minis, it, we're gonna see a ton of proxying. And that would be just such a wasted opportunity. I mean, Fallout, it was probably never going to be more popular than it is when that TV show drops. The alleged release date for this box is April 19th, which is just one week after the premiere of the Fallout TV show and one day before the best day of the year for completely unrelated reasons. And as of right now, you can find listings for this LA Tales box on both Amazon, Goblin Gaming, and all kinds of other online retailers, but the pre-order is not open yet. So keep your eyes on those websites and here on WGNR for more news 
as it comes. Well, that's it for this one, Wastelanders, a huge one here today. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. And if you really enjoy our smiling faces here on WGNR, then why don't you consider heading on over to our Patreon page, or you can just click the little join button down here on YouTube, where for as little as $3 Canadian per month, you can help us make more videos for you to enjoy, just like this one. You also get all kinds of kickbacks, like double entry into giveaways, access to polls, which help us guide the content here on the channel, and you could even end up as a named character in a future battle report or live stream. So stay tuned, Wastelanders, because we're going to have lots more Fallout TV show news coming your way, and we've got a couple ideas for some, uh, some new content we're going to be bringing here to the channel revolving around the TV show, so more news on that later. But thank you again so much for watching, and stay tuned, because as always, WGNR will be back.